Be prepared for price hikes and extensive shortages, a global container crisis of biblical proportions. Hi folks, welcome to the Financial Argument Channel. Although ordinary citizens may not be aware of it right now, there is a major container crisis causing sleepless nights for major international traders. For ordinary citizens who remained unprepared and unaware of the situation, the sleepless nights are on the way. Giant shipping companies working in conjunction with different governments played a dirty game in order to increase their profits. But now this game they're playing is about to turn into a complete economic disaster for all of us. As a result of this great disaster, the days are coming when you will truly feel the impact of the economic crisis on your wallets. In fact, everything seemed to be going great for the giant shipping companies before last September. Container shipping by sea was one of the sectors that unexpectedly thrived as a result of the health crisis. Freight shipping rates rose sharply in 2019 and are still rising. Last year, it was estimated that the total net profit in the sector will reach $9 billion, increasing by more than 40% compared to 2019. I'm referring to giant companies like Maersk, Costco, MSC, and CMA CGM Group. Maersk, for example, tripled its net profit in the second quarter with a reduced capacity, lower fuel costs, and higher freight rates. If we recall the financial crisis of 2008, world trade took a huge hit. It took years to recover. It's worth mentioning that much consolidation took place during that time. For example, the shares of five major transporters increased from 40% to 60%. Such a rapid recovery in foreign trade was not expected. But as I said, there was an increase contrary to what was expected. Towards the end of September, the trade volumes of three of the world's largest and most important ports, Ningbo, China, Hamburg, Germany, and Los Angeles, California, seemed to have reached the levels of the previous year. However, the alarm signals started to go off towards mid-October. Freight prices began to rise with the onset of the high-demand season, which includes Christmas and Black Friday. Freight costs from China to the United States reached $4,000, tripling nearly three times in one year. The price of home appliances dramatically increased because the stock had fallen to incredibly low levels. Freight prices started to skyrocket in mid-October when the problems in ocean transportation reached extreme levels. The ports slowed down and the container shortage began. CMA CGM Group, one of the largest carriers in the world, began to shut down new bookings. By November, with the onset of the Christmas season and demand skyrocketing, problems began to appear on the supply side. There were many factors involved, an incredible decrease in shipping lines, decrease in the labor force due to restrictions, and difficulty in finding truck drivers and dock workers. The absence of seafarers and the fact that the sector consolidated, especially after the financial crisis, showed just how out of hand things were getting. Consider that CMA CGM company in particular was under pressure, the Chinese government decided to do something about the prices. It appeared the freight prices on the US route seemed to annoy them. In December, a huge confession came from Lars Jensen of Maersk, the world's largest giant container ship operator. He said that the situation created by the rising demand and low capacity was a perfect storm. He admitted that productivity had slowed, which delayed more ships, and that it would become a vicious cycle. At that time especially, many ships were waiting to dock at important ports such as Los Angeles and Long Beach, the two busiest container ports in the U.S. As a result of these developments, container costs have exceeded $10,000 in the Shanghai to Rotterdam line in the past weeks. The container crisis started to threaten foreign trade on a global scale. Container costs from Asia to parts of Europe have risen to over $15,000, increasing by almost eight or nine times. Likewise, container costs from China to the U.S. have increased tremendously. This cost increase in global trade is an indication that difficult times are in store for us. While it appears that the only ones benefiting from the situation are the giant shipping companies. The biggest losers are the countries that depend on cheap Chinese goods instead of domestic production. 
After the health crisis, we experienced anomalies in many markets. There are many different reasons behind this. Container shortages are the cause of the problems in foreign trade and supply chains. Deliveries are delayed because there are no containers to transport goods. Some goods remain at customs or ports. On the other hand, costs are soaring. There are actually two reasons why freight costs are increasing. One problem is with the ships carrying them. The other is the cargo problem the ships are experiencing. When this is the case, road and air options have already been exhausted and are not always viable. So why did this crisis come to the horizon and who brought this disaster upon us? Of course, China. This was definitely planned and triggered by China. It's clear that dependence on China has caused shipping prices to go through the roof. The five-fold increase in container transportation fees between China and Europe and America in the span of a year has caused trouble for everyone. Those who want to export to other countries are in a difficult situation due to freight costs. China's relatively quick recovery from the health crisis compared to the other countries and its newfound dominance on exports are interesting to say the least. On the other hand, this one-way trade means difficulty planning routes for ships that do not want to make free trade returns. The cost of floating an empty ship is quite high. For this reason, many routes could not be drawn. Delivery rates have skyrocketed to 50% over time. In other words, the frequency of the expected ships arriving on time has halved. We haven't seen these rates since 2011. For example, the rate of on-time deliveries in the previous year was 80%. China stands as a problem that needs to be analyzed from various aspects before the world in our country. When it comes to China, we should not only think about the China-USA tension, but also the developments that will affect us throughout the 21st century. For example, the container crisis, which has begun to trouble worldwide economies and disrupted trade in recent weeks, is caused by China's negative impact on world balances. Those who cannot find a container, even by offering a price above the market average, are scrambling to figure out what to do. Those who want to send heavyweight, low-cost products to the world or import them from abroad are in even greater trouble. For this reason, some ships do not even want to visit the ports of many countries. When the shipping cost is higher than the value of the goods transported, some products disappear from the market. This supply problem, or the container crisis, is an important reason for the price increases in food products and shortage all around, which will become more severe in the coming weeks. All this is due to China's determination to create a global monopoly, especially in general industrial production. Although the crisis that emerged in my last analysis hit China, it stems from China, which has monopolized many container ports and containers. China, which seems to have recovered from the health crisis earlier than other countries, has booked a disproportionate amount of containers and triggered prices to rise. This considerably increased the prices of basic necessities, especially in countries that do not have a large domestic agricultural sector. With the world competing for containers, many countries are stuck with food they cannot ship. Carriers send empty shipping boxes back to China, and even American soybean shippers are competing for containers. The director of logistics at IMEX Global, Steve Kranig, relates that one of his customers from Thailand is sending two to three containers a week of rice to Los Angeles rather than the usual eight to 10. He expects that freight shipping rates may double compared to previous years. China finds it more profitable to send containers back empty. Many buyers have resorted to delaying purchases or even canceling contracts. According to Mark Yeager, CEO of Redwood Logistics, three out of four containers from the US to Asia go back empty. The economic crisis is rapidly spreading. The destruction it has created continues to make itself felt in every area. One of them is a global container shortage of biblical proportions. This problem of huge ships floating in the oceans is very important because it will first bring massive price increases and then shortages all around. We have to take this container crisis very seriously. The days are coming when your wallets will truly feel the impact of it, not to mention your families. As a result of this great disaster, you'll find many products are not in stock 
and the prices of the only available products will increase enormously. I hope you're now aware of what's coming and prepare yourselves accordingly. We'll see you in the next video. God bless you all.